You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul and I have the pleasure of having Mr. Neil Carter on the show. Welcome to the show, Neil. Thanks, Paul. Hey, I'm really excited to have Neil on the show. Why? Because he does something very cool with drone mapping. He is a, I'm probably gonna screw this up again after you told me three times, he is an accident reconstructionist with Kineticorp. He's essentially like an expert witness when it comes to people who are, let's say they're fighting in court over the legitimacy of, say, an accident reconstruction or variables. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, Neil. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I I like to consider myself more than an expert witness. Really, uh, I research car accidents and whether that's research to find new techniques to study why they crash, how they crash. Um, But a lot of that spills over into the legal realm. And so what we do is we're typically hired by lawyers or insurance companies um, to go figure out what happened in a car crash. So that involves figuring out you know, what the drivers did, how fast they were going, what steering inputs, what braking inputs, um, generally just anything surrounding uh, a car crash. We go in and we figure out what happened. That is really awesome. So you're kind of like spot checking what the police have already done. Is that correct? Yeah, in some sense. And and we rely a lot on what the police do in terms of our data. Uh, A lot of times we'll come back to the scene and it'll be years after the accident. So there's times when when we'll get to the scene and all of the tire marks, for instance, are gone. All of the debris is gone. So there's times when when we really do rely on the investigators, the police, to uh, help us reconstruct the scene. Gotcha. So just to clarify for everyone, because I think there's a common misconception here in crime scene mapping, reconstruction, whatever you would call it, that every car accident is pretty much like mapped or every car accident (laughs) is uh, investigated. CSI comes out in their black suburbans and, you know. Yeah, yeah, that that is absolutely not the case. I wish (laughs) I wish that were the case. Um, You know, in, in most cases, more data is better for me. And. Uh, There's a lot of cases where we have very little data. Some cases we'll have, um, you know, two two photos that were of one vehicle that were printed out and faxed to me in black and white, and that's all I'll have to work with. Wow. So what type of accidents are typically um, uh, reconstructed in a in a way that gives you ample data? Like, is it regular accidents? We're talking fatalities. Um, like T-bone accidents, what are we talking about? Here? Sure, sure. Uh, all kinds of accidents, really. You know, we, um, we're, we're there to give our clients information on crashes. So we get everything from, uh, you know, minor fender benders, rear end type accidents to multi-fatality crashes. And the data that's available to us usually varies widely. So usually with the more extreme accidents, fatal accidents, we get more data. Gotcha. Usually less data uh, on the less severe accidents, but to, that's not always the case. Gotcha. But typically, it sounds like what you're saying is normally only like fatalities and kind of the bigger accidents are really reconstructed. Yeah, and certainly, certainly as it applies to using uh, drones to map data, it's typically only the fatal accidents or the the severe accidents where the police will do any sort of mapping gotcha. um, and have good photographic coverage. So let me ask you, what do you think uh, drone mapping photogrammetry would do for crime scene reconstruction? Yeah, so I think it's um, it's a tool that we're we're really exploring just because of how versatile it is. Uh, typically, a big part of what I do is recreating the scene and recreating the evidence at the scene. So like I said earlier, we're, we're on scene sometimes years. Uh, we've had a case that, that we were hired on the case a decade after the accident. And so by that time, the, the scene evidence is gone. Um, scenes can be entirely changed. So, 
So a lot of what we do is reconstruct that evidence and we use close range photogrammetric techniques mm -hmm. to reconstruct that the evidence. Um, but to do that, we need to have information about a scene. So typically we would go to a scene, take photographs of it, um, and use a couple different methods. We have a total station survey, we have a 3D laser scan, and what I'm trying to see is, okay, can we use drones and drone mapping um, as a basis for that camera matching photogrammetry or that close range photogrammetry? So do you see drone mapping, uh, and, I, and I'm just kind of recapping here so people really understand you know, what's going on, but do you see drone mapping as a way to acquire better data than, say, a total station or than, say, uh, you know, a 3D laser scanner? Right. Uh, so my hope is that the data is as good as a 3D laser scanner, um, but I also like drone mapping because it's, it's sexier data. It presents better. Uh, it's lifelike. It, Exactly, exactly. Well, it is. It's, it's photographs. Um, you know, great photographs turn into great mapping data, turn into great 3D data, and that in turn just rolls itself into a great reconstruction. So what I wanted to do initially, uh, we got the drone and we were looking at, okay, can this be a good supplement to scan data? And we found that, yeah, it can be a really good supplement to scan data. And now, now we're taking that to the next level and saying, can it be a substitute for scan data on the ground? Gotcha. No, I think it's fascinating. Um, so let me ask you this. Do you think that drone mapping or modeling could provide faster data than the way that it's traditionally reconstructed? Sure, sure. And, and when you say faster, there's, there's a couple different aspects to it. Certainly, there's a lot of processing time with drone data. That's back at the office. But what I'm looking at as a, as a large benefit to this is actual time on the scene. So if I were to map out a scene with a 3D scanner on the ground, it could take three or four hours. Whereas if I'm able to do that with a drone, I could fly an entire scene in probably one battery. Uh, so we're talking 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, that's fat. That's, it really is awesome. Yeah. You know, when you think about it, it's lifelike. It's fast. I mean, you guys have to understand, the way that you acquire the data, though, is just so important. And I think it's also really important to say that, you know, not everyone should be going out there, and correct me if I'm wrong, but not everyone should be going out there and saying to the police force, hire me for drone mapping, I got this. You, you can't do that. I mean, I've said it before on the show, Neil, and I, I just have a really uh, passionate kind of stance on this because oftentimes, and if you've been an expert witness, you probably know the term I'm about to say, but oftentimes we, you know, you could be held up in a court case and an expert witness comes up and they're like, well, to a reasonable degree of scientific certainty. Right. Yeah. Right. You know exactly what right. I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> that scares me because if, let's say if someone's um, map is inaccurate, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it, it's off by a few feet. That could cause significant harm to someone if there was a miscalculation in speed. I mean, what, what do, when you give this data to guys like yourself or the police, uh, what are they looking for? What types of key performance indicators are giving them the answers that they need? Yeah, yeah, and that's that's why uh, the research plays such a big role into it. So I'm, you know, I'm I'm taking classes, I'm learning here, uh, and I'm I'm doing research to see, okay, how accurate is this data? And one of the uh, admissibility requirements in most states is that the method has a quantifiable error rate. So that's, that's what we're looking for here. And we, we wanna know not only is it accurate, but is this tire mark, say, that we measured, um, do we think that's plus or minus three inches? Do we think that's plus or minus four inches? Do we think it's plus or minus six feet? And then how does that relate to the speed of the vehicle? Gotcha. I think that's, it's really interesting because if you've got a longer skid mark, they're going pretty fast, right? Yeah, typically, typically. Yeah. So other than skid marks, what other types of things are, are we looking for? Are we measuring? Or, yeah. or guys like you measuring or you right, know, the right. professionals? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, certainly tire marks, um, gouge marks. Uh, if, a vehicle, if vehicles impact each other, um, debris on the roadway. We also look for points of rest. Uh, points of rest are, are really helpful in a lot of cases because they give us um, a known constraint. So we know the vehicle speed at the point of rest is zero. And then we can work backwards from there a lot of times. 
Um, so that's something if we can see that in photographs uh, or if, if the police um, fly a drone, we've had a couple of cases where the police actually fly a drone. We're able to see that, we're able to map that out through the drone photos. Um, that's really helpful in the reconstruction. No, that's really, really interesting. So let me ask you, um, I think we've kind of gone over measurements, potential consequences. I mean, and maybe if you can help me elaborate too, if you have a degree of inaccuracy or you take the data incorrectly or the police take the data incorrectly or it's not processed correctly. I mean, right. you saw today just how complex processing is. Yeah, yeah. It's... And how it can change your data. So what, what type of consequences could that cause? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I mean, I know, I, I know every case is different. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. But I mean, help me out here. Help them out here. Right, right. And every case absolutely is different. Uh, I'll make that disclaimer that, um, you know, I'll talk in generalities here, but it's really taken on a case by case basis. But really, with this with this processing of data, um, you know, that can lead if if done improperly, that can lead to a bad reconstruction, um, and. You know, on the on the criminal aspect, it could be you know people being charged wrongly, uh, and the civil aspect, you know, you're not dealing necessarily with people's freedom, but you're dealing you know with with their resources, and so this is something that you know I want to, and that's again why I keep up with the research, why I keep up with the technology, why I keep up with the training, because I want to get the most accurate reconstruction that I can. So I want to make sure that every part of the process is done as accurately as possible. That's awesome. That's awesome. Neil, thank you so much. If we wanted to find out more about you or your company, where could we go? Yeah, the best resource is just our website. That's www.kineticorp.com. K-I-N-E-T-I-C-O-R-P. Awesome. Awesome. Anything else? Sorry, I cut you off there. I didn't mean no, to. No, no, that's fine. I was going to say we're on LinkedIn and most of the socials as well. Awesome. Well, Neil, thank you so much for being on the show. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. It's been a pleasure meeting with you. And guys, don't forget, if you want to leave a review, if you want to say thank you, make sure you tell us how we're doing and how Neil is doing. Accident reconstruction is one of those things. It's, it's just so technical, but it will be one of the exercises at the Drone You Fly In. Again, go to DroneYouFlyIn.com to check that out. But that's going to do it for us today. Reporting to you from AUVSI 2018, his name is Neil, my name is Paul, and you're watching Ask Drone You. Oh!